What's good everybody, it's Marrero Gaming and today we're going to be starting a new series on all the mods 8. Um, I know what some of you guys are going to say, this is like my fifth series that I started and have- oh snap. I'm dead. Oh. Yo. That might have been the most craziest thing I've ever done. What in the world? Half a heart? Yo. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. How in the world did you know an Enderman pet was in there? Because I... Do you guys see where I spawned? I spawned on the cloud to start the world. So I had to check. I was like, wait a minute. This is weird. Anyways, let's just ignore that crazy start to this series. I mean, that, that was amazing. I know what some of you guys are going to say. I've created a bunch of different mod packs, started a bunch of different series, and I never continue them. I'll tell you guys what. This one right here, this is the one. Stop the cap. We're on all the mods 8. Um, I've added a couple mods to go along with it that I like I like to have in, in the game. And yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with how I do my stuff, First episode is usually an introduction, what's going on, introduce a few mods, whatnot. But we're just going to take it easy. I tell you guys what, I need food because, wow, that was insane. Let me get a crafting table made real quick and then I can give you guys a rundown real quick. I got to get food though because who knows what could happen. A bird could just come and just bite my head off. Anyways. Man, I can't believe that just happened. Like, honestly, like, I'm like, like I, it was already weird that I spawned on that cloud. But for me to clutch up like that, like I'm dream, wow. If you guys don't know, um, we're on hardcore. And how I do my hardcore servers, I don't know about everybody else. But if you die, you die. I mean, that's it for the series. I mean, maybe we can move on to season two, but the goal is to just not die. But yeah, if we die, we die. Um, hardcore. I am not really familiar with hardcore. I never played it in depth. I never really got far with it. The amount of mods in here is going to make this very difficult. So we have to play smart. Um, we, we really can't play willy nilly, as one would say. Huh? I see a pig over here, so I'm definitely going to get him. Usually, I don't have to kill animals off the bat, but today, because of that start, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I do see a few sheep. I'm scared to do anything right now because there's no way my luck is that strong. All right, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this furnace made. Um, start cooking this pork chop. But like I was saying, we can't just you know play dumb. We have to really lock in. We can't just go to the nether and be like, oh, okay, whatever. Nah, we have to prepare. We got to get the right gear, right tools. Uh, you guys know. You guys probably play hardcore and know how it gets down. Yeah, also, a little bit more about this series. They're, these episodes are going to be a little long. Um, we do not care. You know, what's different about my series is I know a lot of YouTubers, they like to go right into the, the tech and they try to, you know, become real efficient right off the bat. That's not me. And why that's not me, I don't understand it, to be honest. Which I will get into further in the series. I will try to learn them and whatever because I know they can be real helpful but as of right now we're going to stick with the basic stuff you know if you guys are not familiar with this mod pack or have never watched any videos play to yourself I'll throw a, um, a list of some of the mods on this on the screen but I'm gonna try to explain them as we go as much as I can um, there's too much to even even give you guys a list of, of what's in here. I mean, it's all the mods. Not literally, but you guys know. One final thing about this mod pack, there's probably way more than I'm leaving out, which I will I will bring up as we go. But another thing is that I will not limit myself in any way. If I see a village, I'm looting a village. That's just how I do it. I mean, if I'm on hardcore, I gotta give myself as many advantages as possible. Um, I am familiar with this mod pack, so if you guys see me doing stuff real quick or whatnot that I'm really not explaining, just know that I am familiar, like I have played this um, personally. I didn't really get far, 
just because I knew I wanted to film for you guys. But I just wanted to tell you guys that just so you guys are like, wait a minute, how does he know, you know, all these different crafting recipes and all types of stuff. Um, and as you guys see right here, I am using Ultimon. But that means it just blocks. It, it mines veins instead of just mining single blocks, which will save us plenty of time. Mushroom cows, okay. I'm going to not kill him. Maybe I can uh, come back and create a farm with him. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build this bed, sleep through this night, continue exploring. I mean, my goal right now is just to find a village or a structure get started at loot it's usually the best way that's usually how i do it because you 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 will sleep on the loot you can get you can find a nice village good loot but i don't see anything on the map so let me build this bed um like i said guys this first episode it is going to be boring but it's the introduction you know what i'm saying we gotta we gotta get ready we gotta prepare explain what's going what's going down still searching for a village I mean, I'm honestly scared to do anything without without looting first because if I try to go in a cave, but what in the world is this? Yo, look at this. Oh, man. See what I'm saying? Usually my first mindset would be let's jump into it. Mind what we can. Mind what we can. Not in this series. You no, small. sir. I got to get prepared first. You very it's a pretty cool area, though. I may come back to it, maybe build something over here. Okay. See something in the distance. Let's see what that is. Looks like it could be a village, maybe. Okay, there's some sort of tower over there. Any of them single towers that look like that, it's always risky to go to. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so I know it's extremely, extremely risky, but I know that chests usually spawn under those. I heard a skeleton, I got scared, my bad. Um, I know that skeleton or under them spawners usually, usually chests spawn under there and they have pretty good loot. So I'm gonna try to run, break that spawner and I don't know. Okay, yes, I was right, I was right. Okay, we just gotta kill this husk without getting hit. Oh, snap. Okay. See what I'm saying? We got some good loot in here, iron. Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, Take my loot and just be satisfied. Give me that iron. Can already make an iron sword and an iron pick so i'm definitely going to do that i don't want to waste no time on that like i mentioned before guys this, this episode is going to be a little slower a little less energy just because it's chill it's a it's it's just me talking to you guys really i did not mean to put that on okay still going to continue to search for this village i actually need food so i'm gonna cook some food real quick kind of want to see what's in here but i'm gonna wait until i eat and then i'll go up there and see i don't know what that is but i see a lantern up there could be something good who knows oh and if you guys i don't know if you guys were wondering or not but um if you guys were wondering how i saved myself at the beginning um for some reason i spawned on a, a inventory pets cloud if you guys don't know what inventory pets is it's basically a mod that introduces little inventory pets that you have um that have different special abilities and whatnot and basically i had an enderman one in there and i mean i guess uh, i mean i just happened to teleport at the perfect time which ended up giving me half a heart i don't know it, it was perfect i'm not gonna i don't know i'm not gonna think about it too much so there was a chest up here which is good oh man Vein mining? Dude. Are you serious? Are you serious? 
What did I... Yo. They tried to get me back. Because of the luck earlier, they tried to... That is crazy. I can't believe... Hey, I survived. Hey, I survived. I'm not... Whatever. I'm getting lucky today. I'm, I'm gonna take that as luck. Not bad luck. That was luck. 24 hours later. Now, you guys... I'm about to tell y'all some buffoonery. I seen this over in the distance and I was like, okay, finally, we found a village. No, I just found a random, like, what is this? Just a random farm? I mean, I'll take what they got though, cause they wanna play with me like that? Okay. <laughs> finally, here we go. A village, a nice village too, it looks like. Man, it's been like, I've been filming this video for 20 minutes and I just found a village. Usually I spawned in a village. Uh, it's usually that simple. But I can't complain. Found one now and this one looks stacked. So I am happy. Um, and I seen on the map, they got this Guardians of the Galaxy plane up here. And I also see an inventory pet cloud. Okay, this is a good area. This is definitely a beautiful place to start. Um, it's quite messed up, but I'm going to take one of these homes and make it mine. Um, just for the time being, let me build me some chests. I don't even have no wood. I'm crazy. Tree chopper mod coming in handy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and build these these chests. All right, so we got the chest place. I'm gonna just throw everything in here real quick. There we go, okay. Now I'm gonna go loot this village because I'm sure this village got nice stuff. Oh man, oh was I right? I was definitely right, okay. The thing that I'm looking for is a waystone so I can get back to this village. But if I find a waystone, which if you guys don't know, waystones are a way of teleporting from different place to place for free, basically. Um, it's very nice. It comes in handy. I'm going to have to make another chest already. That's how you know we're looting good. Double chest again. Just throw it here for now. I know it's ugly, but it's going to have to do. Okay. So, if... Oh, oh. So, let me... Let me you guys you're probably like what the what in the world you're 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 putting bread in a furnace yes when you put bread in a furnace it makes toast which is very very nice very useful um okay let me explore this village some more see if there's any uh waste stone like i said usually there is in villages what is going on over here zombies they got some interesting armor on. I'm gonna see if I can get it. And shields, what in the world? I don't wanna get hit by that. Okay. Got some armor, shabby boots. I mean, I'll take it better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. What is that down there? Okay, so that is a boss from Apotheosis, which is a mod that changes a bunch of things. We'll, we'll definitely get into that in the future. But I want to hopefully kill him because that could give me some real good loot. I don't know how he's down there though. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go for it. You know what? I, I feel like this is a good way to end the episode. Um, we just gonna go for it. It may be dumb. I may die, and that may be the end of. Oh, just good loot. Okay, gotta do this. I may cheese it. I may cheese it. Let me see. What is that? Anyways, just a zombie. Okay. I'm gonna cheese it. I'm gonna hit him from up. I'm gonna hit him from the top. Okay. I'm sure there's good loot down here though. Oh, he don't even got that much health. But it is an apotheosis boss, which I thought. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can get this. This is such a weird place for 
this little dungeon thing to spawn, but oh well. I really honestly could have just got the chest without fighting him, but he might have some good gear or weapons that I could take. All right, there he goes. Okay, anything he... Oh, see, he had this rusted kettle hat, which sucks, but like I said before, it's better than nothing. Let's get whatever we can out here. A lot of loot. Mana regeneration bundle. Okay, okay. Let's see what's in here. Honestly, not honestly not the greatest of stuff, but I'm not going to complain. It's better than nothing. I know it's nighttime. Oh, my gosh. You see that ship up there? Anyway, I'm going to stop messing with all the crazy stuff that's going on right now. I need to just get back to my to my to my place. All right, here it is. I know because the the tower. All right, let me go to sleep real quick. Put my stuff in the chest and I think that is going to wrap up the first episode of All the Mods 8 mod pack. I'm really excited to continue this and jump into different mods. You know, getting started is always boring. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I will be playing a little bit off camera. Um, just because it's, it's, it'll make these episodes, we can focus on the important stuff. You guys don't have to watch me build or mine for a few materials, you know what I'm saying? So, but I will update you guys, whatever I do off camera. Um, so yeah, like I said, who is... Who are you? Who are you? Bradley. Bradley. Where your mom at, nigga? Hey, nigga, where your mom at, nigga? Get out of my house, bro. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Oh. And he shut the door. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys are excited as much as I am for this series. Like I said... It's definitely going to get way more entertaining as the series goes. Uh, jump into all these crazy mods that this mod pack has to offer. Shout out to the creator. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what I should do next. And give me some ideas for the next episode. Also, this is your job for the video. Please leave some tips and tricks. If you guys have played this mod pack yourselves. Um, anything I should jump into right away. Stuff like that. Just help a brother out. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.